This video will show setting up IVAO for X-Plane 11 on the Mac. First we need to get registered for IVAO. It's free to register and you'll use your full real name. Then use your web password to log in to IVAO. The software we need to install is under Resources Software Beta. The Altitude Pilot Client is the package we're going to install. First we'll bring up the Altitude Manual and look that over and keep it open for later reference after we're, everything is installed we need to make sure that we read through all of this. Next we're going to bring up the installation manual for the Altitude for Mac OS. So we're going to click on installation manual. This explains the process. First we're going to download a zip folder and we're going to move the items into the plugins folder on our X-Plane directory. So we're going to click on the altitude package, save it on our machine, then we'll open the file location so that we can access the downloaded zip. Double click on it to expand it. There is also a README, but uh, the web instructions are a little clearer. Navigate into the Mac Resources plugin directory and select both the IVAO CSL folder and the IVAO pilot folder and copy them. Then paste those two folders that you copied into the X-Plane 11 Resources Plugins directory. Now navigate into the IVAO Pilot folder and double click on the Pilot UI DMG. Now drag the Pilot UI app into your Applications folder. Next, under the IVAO Pilot folder, we're going to double click on the XCSL DMG and copy the XCSL updater into the applica your applications folder. And then make sure it's there. Next, we need to dump the unmount the DMG. Back in the online instruction manual, the next step is to install the GStreamer, which there is a link. We right click and copy or uh, open in a new link and download the package file to your machine. and then the instructions say to proceed with the install of the GStreamer. So we're going to double click on the package file that we downloaded and then go through the Mac specific protections. We have to first click OK then go into security and privacy and allow it to be open so we open anyway and then it'll bring up your system preferences that you need to use the password so then it's going to try we again we have to cancel <clears throat> for the mac xpl and go through the same process this time we're able to proceed with the installation. Continue, agree, and perform the install. Again, 
needing to install we have to enter our password for the machine install was successful we're done with that step the next step in the instructions is to install the XCSL package which uh, I already did moving it to the applications folder <clears throat> so then it instructs that we should run the XCSL updater press update so we attempt to run it and we get the usual Mac security that we have to go through the process of opening it anyway entering our machine password saying yes open first thing that we have to do is to tell the installer where is our explain dir and if you happen to click on it and not see a dialog perhaps it's over on a second monitor in my case so we bring the uh, dialog up and we're going to actually find the X-Plane app the next step is to click the index button and it will go out and find all of the packages that can be installed select all and then update now this is going to take a long time a really long time after perhaps an hour it will change to up to date for all of the packages that are available to be installed back to our instructions it's time to open X-Plane the Mac won't let you do that so we're gonna have to go again to the security and privacy and allow the Mac.XPL to be run again opening X-Plane this time it says OK and we try opening configure our airplane we're not ready to fly but we just need to get X-Plane up and to the cockpit and then we'll continue our uh, effort with the altitude pilot client so using the command tab to bring up uh, the file explorer and find your pilot UI app in the applications folder and start it but again Apple does not want you to run that because you've loaded it not through the store so you open it anyway give your machine password again open and there we go so next we'll click the offline button to get connected we'll set up our call sign web password and select receive only for the voice option and next we pick our MTL aircraft that we will appear to others in my case there is no long EZ in the library so I use the diamond 40 so now we're ready to connect if your user number and password were correct you've now connected to the IVAO network and we notice first off that it's showing that we have no flight plan registered normally we'll start with a flight plan before bringing up our airplane and connecting to the network so the first thing to notice is that the UTC time current UTC time is in the upper right 
which is convenient for filling in the departure time for our flight. <clears throat> we'll give ourselves a little time to set up and plan for 04445. Make sure the date of flight is the date that you desire. You set it to the current date of this video and we're ready to submit. So there's my flight plan. We're ready to go back and check in the pilot app do we see the flight plan. Now we have a flight plan. We can uh, check for any online ATC. Clicking on there's no one so we're going to use the Unicom. Tune the COM1 radio automatically and we're ready to go. The normal startup sequence is to file the flight plan first, start X-Plane, configure, then start the pilot UI, and then go fly. The shutdown sequence is the reverse. We're going to get parked and normally shut down the aircraft then switch to the pilot UI app, disconnect by clicking the online button, close the pilot UI app, close X-Plane 11, and enjoy your connected with IVAO experience.